welcome to Tangling Along with me. We are going to continue on tanglepatterns.com and today we are going to start on a new page. So let's open up and see. So we are going into the brown colored pages now and I am going to take a deep breath Relax my shoulders and my hands and just be grateful for the day and this new color in the book, maybe something else. If you don't have the book, then you can use a piece of paper or something else to make this uh, tangle on. You don't even have to make the grit here, you can do it on a piece just by itself. I'm just going to do it on this page to show you how I can uh, place them together. I'm going uh, to start with my four corner dots. You might not be able to see that. Uh, and then I am going to connect them with a line. And this line don't have to be uh, totally square or straight lines can even make it dip down like that if you want to. So now I'm just going to place in some lines here of some kind. I think I'm going to make these kind of crescent moon lines here. And I'm going under this bow that I have there. And I can uh, make a line from there to there to make these a little smaller. still think they're kind of big here. So just drag a line more a few places here. And remember you can always jump a line when you are drawing. So we are going to make this pattern here today. And it's uh, quite simple, but very uh, effective and beautiful. So I'm going to choose a place for it. And I actually think I'm going to place it in this uh, little dip here. Um, I have this, that's, I have to show you. I have this dark brown um, Micron PN. This is um, a dark brown, let's see. Um, I have a black to compare. I don't know if you can see that. But this one is all black and this one is dark brown. It can be really, really hard to see. If you don't have this uh, dark brown, then you can of course use a black instead. But I'm going to use this one as I think it would be perfect on this paper. So for this one I am starting with this C-shaped uh, square. So I'm just using the C-shapes to make the squares. And I can see now that I'm gonna go over the line here but it's all fine. So I am just continuing this line out and making a uh, print Tom out of it almost. And I'm doing that here on the other side. As well. And then from here and out. And over on this side. And then here on the top. So that's actually the pattern. So now we can uh, play with it just like we want to. So I'm going to uh, place a little ball here at the end of these print arms. And in one of the step outs, the, 
there are this uh, circle in the middle and then a kind of diamond shape thing here. And I'm gonna turn my book a bit. So up to the side and aura the top of the side. That's actually pretty neat. Um, I think I'm going to color that in here. There we go. Um, I'm gonna make this um, rounding here between these two. So I'm just placing a small C from one line to the other and coloring, uh, coloring this little room in between. I like this rounding thing. Um, and then we can, uh, we could place a little diamond right here as well, in these openings here. And over here, there we go. And then we can aura it all if we want to. I think I'm gonna do that. And take your time while auraing so that it gets nice and pretty. Um, I actually want to uh, color in these diamonds here. like that. When I have a white jelly roll, this is the Sakura Jelly Roll 08. I like this size and I'm going to use that. I always start it on my finger. So I'm going to put a inner dot here and I'm gonna make a inner diamond here in these um, smaller ones and I'm not going out to the edge I just leave a tiny bit of the brown paper uh, visible here
There we go. That actually looks really neat. And I could actually put a white diamond right here. So I'm gonna do that all four places. And remember this jelly roll ink takes a bit longer to dry. So careful that you don't touch it too soon. And the last one up here. There we go. I like that. I let this dry for a few moments so it's all dry to the touch right now. No smearing. That's perfect. Um, I want to place a dark shadow around this but I'm um, waiting with that because I need the uh, patterns here on the outside of it to go all the way up to it and then shade around it. So I will eventually uh, make a shading here all the way on the outside of this one. Another thing I can do is take my white charcoal and I can actually um, place some shading here and using my Tochi Leong for the white and just drag it out just like we do with the graphite and I can do that on all four sides of this little inner square I think that looks really really pretty. That's a very easy pattern and it looks great. It was this pattern that we used. So that was the start of the fifth page in this book. A brown page, the first brown page we are working on. And it started out really good. I'm sorry that it is really hard to see my um, string here, but it's really there. Anyway, that was all for today. See you next time. Have an attitude of gratitude.